Hey, what's up guys, it's Coach Ben. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the importance of having systems set up in your business. And this is one of the most important aspects about how we run our academy here. And this is kind of, I think, the biggest difference maker between us and a lot of people out there who try to compete with us um, or they try to model what we do and they just can't really figure it out. And I really want you to copy and paste what I'm about to tell you because I think this will be the biggest difference maker in your private uh, training academy. So I'm going to kind of rewind a little bit and go back to when I first started training players. And that was back in 2009. And when I started training players, I didn't know how to run a business. And that's what the majority of people who start a business, they don't know what they're doing. They, they don't have any experience. They maybe haven't talked to any mentors. I mean, I was literally um, just out of college. I didn't know anything about how to collect money, how to charge people, um, how to manage my time. I mean, I was kind of all over the place. All I had really was the passion to help players get better, which is needed. If you don't have that, you should probably turn this video off uh, because I won't, be able, I won't be able to help anyone unless they have that first and foremost. But I had the passion, but I didn't understand how to um, run a business. And that's going to be very critical for you. If you want to do this long term, you have to understand the business side. And that's really why I'm here. I want to help uh, trainers with that side of their, their company is help with the business, help manage and structure everything from A to Z. This way, it's so easy. You can look forward to going to train players and you can grow everything over the course of time. Um, but I didn't have a clue about what I was doing. So I want you to know that before you you know listen on to the rest of this video, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, it took me a lot of time and it took a lot of going through a lot of failure to figure out how I needed to set things up in the future. Um, so really what happened was at the beginning, I wasn't charging anyone. Everything was free. Um, I wanted to do that because I wanted to get good experience. And I also didn't have confidence asking people for money, uh, which is actually a really difficult thing to do. Um, and so at the beginning, everything was free. I wasn't charging anyone. I was just getting a lot of experience. I wanted to get great results with the kids who were committed to me. So I would do that. And eventually I started charging um, $15 per session. And I remember at the time, uh, my sessions were an hour and a half, so they were 90 minutes. I was charging 15 bucks, um, and I started to get a lot of people um, that were coming in at the $15 uh, per session range. And what happened, what the problem was, is I had a lot of people who wanted to pay per session. And this is this was kind of the beginning of my downfall at the beginning, is I had a lot of people who wanted to do that, so what happened was a lot of people didn't show up to my sessions. They weren't paying. Um, they would pay me either after the session or may maybe at the end of the month. I was very nice and lenient uh, with how people paid me. And worst of all, everybody paid me by cash or check. And I'm going to explain towards the end of the video why you never want to do that if you want to do this like a serious business. Um, and so as that was happening, I kept getting a lot of people who wanted to to train with me, um, and I mean it was awesome. But a lot of people weren't paying, and it's really hard to go into a session with your mind thinking about someone owes you money and you want to train their kid, but you want to try to do a good job, you want to make them happy, but you can't run a business that way. And that's when I started to realize, like I better get my stuff together or else there's going to be so many people that are going to take advantage of me. And that's the thing that a lot of trainers really, they don't think about that when, before they start. They just kind of go through it and either they let it continue to happen or they make a big change. And that's what I did. I made a massive change. Um, I remember I went to a conference in California that, that really like walked through um, business and how to manage everything if you are a personal trainer or a private trainer. Um, and once I came back, I made all the changes. So the first thing that I did is I raised my prices, um, I think to like $30 and I shortened my sessions to uh, an hour instead of 90 minutes. 
And then the second thing I did was I never accepted anyone um, who wanted to pay by cash or pay by check. And the reason why is because I wanted to create a system in place to where if I can get someone to pay one time, they will just automatically be billed 30 days later. And I'm not going to have to ask them to go do it. It's just going to be run by a system online. And the system that I recommend um, is called PayPal. I personally use something called SamCart. You can go look at that um, below. If you already have a lot of players that you're training, I would recommend SamCart over PayPal. Um, I mean, there's a million reasons why, but if you're just starting, I would do PayPal. It's free. Um, it's great for getting recurring payments. And the reason why you want to have that though is because let's say you train someone for you know, a month and they bring money every single time they're training you. Um, let's say they skip a session. Well, right there, you just missed out on them paying you. Um, or let's say, you know, they come to three sessions and they say they're going to pay you on the fourth one and they just don't show up and they disappear. And that stuff started happening to me. There's actually people who probably owe me over thousands of dollars uh, because I had it set up too nice. I was too lenient. Um, and that is something that you have to have set up. And I would rather you have that set up at the beginning before you even start training players, um, before you run into that problem. Because when you run into that problem, it gets very dicey. Um, and it's going to kind of plant a seed in your head that you're not valuable, that people are taking advantage of you. And I would rather you just not have to go through that. Don't go through the same mistake I went through. Um, and so instead of that, set up a system and set it up recurring. So on PayPal, you can do that. And it's kind of the same model as how gyms are run. So when you go to a gym, you'll give them your credit card or your debit card and 30 days later, you're automatically be billed. This way, you are accepting people into your academy who are committed and you can weed out people who will never do that. This way, you never have to worry about people make, making a payment or not making a payment. Once they make it, 30 days later, it goes out again. And the other thing that I did is I started having people um, trained on minimum contracts. This way, I know that someone is going to be committed for at least 90 days. And a lot of people out there, a lot of trainers will never do that. They'll let people come, come in, come out whenever they want. Um, and I don't like that because if someone's not committed, first off, they're not going to see results. And second, you're going to be guessing when they're coming. You're not going to have a set schedule with them. Um, and that is something that I know bugs a lot of trainers out there, but they don't step up and take action. They, they don't treat this like a business. Uh, they let people just kind of float in, float out whenever they want. And when you have things set up that way, you are destined to fail. And that's why I want to create this video because if you don't have the systems in place, it's going to be very difficult to do this long term. If you're just looking to do this as a part time thing and maybe you are in college or you're looking to have something part time on the side, you know, that's you can do that. Um, but if you want to be more efficient and you want to be more profitable with your time, uh, you need to have a system in place. So that's it for today, guys. I want you to really implement that. I don't want you just to think about this. I mean, every successful trainer I know, they all we all have the same systems in place. Um, I've never met a successful trainer out there who is running their academy by cash or checks. Everything, there's, there's too much guesswork. They, they never know when people are coming. Um, and it's very easy to accept people who are not committed when you have it set up that way. And I would rather you only train people who are super committed to you because they're going to get the best results. All right, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for checking in. And if you like this video, make sure and click the thumbs up button. That helps me a lot um, grow my message to help more trainers. And comment below if you have any questions about today's video or anything else. If you're starting your academy, um, comment below. I want to know your questions. Shoot me an email to at startyoursoccercademy at gmail.com. And if you're brand new um, to Soccer Entrepreneur, I want you to go check out my book. It's called The Startup Soccer Academy. It's going to really help you out. It's going to walk you through how to start your, your academy up um, from basically zero clients to 100 if, if you want to scale that fast. Um, and that book has helped a ton of people. So you can see that link in the description below. Um, and that's it for today, guys. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you next time.